to speak it all, can only imagine. Hey, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine, Father, this imagination. One day will become reality. Let's give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Let's give him thanks. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given us. Jesus Christ, His own Son, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given us Jesus Christ, oh yes, Lord. His son and um, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of all the Lord has done. Let's thank him. Let's thank him for us. We thank him and. Um, let we say I am strong. Let a poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. We give it thanks. We give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given us Jesus Christ, His Holy, Holy Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given us Jesus Christ, the Son. And now, let the weak see I am strong. And let the poor see I am rich. Because of all the Lord has done for us. And now, let we see I am strong. Let the poor see I am rich. Because of all the Lord has done. Now let's bring our heart before him. Say, so search my heart, search my mind. Search my ways. For us, give thanks. We give thanks to you. We give thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, Lord. We give thanks. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Oh, let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let we say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. Let's bring our hearts and our mind before the Almighty God. Let's invite Him to take absolute control of our souls, our bodies, and our minds. Even as we come before His presence, may His glory be revealed. 
in the name of Jesus. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasure for them that love you. Here we are, O oh God. We bring our hearts and our mind before you. We say we want to understand your ways. We want to know you more. We want to know you more. Therefore, reveal yourself to us, O oh God. Therefore, make yourself known unto us. As we pursue your will, let your glory be seen in our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that which belongs to us, we cry that we will never be denied. We will never be denied of your love. We will never be denied of your kindness. We will never be denied of the pleasure in your presence. There is fullness of joy at your feet, our life eternal. Draw us closer, O God. Never let us go. You are all that we need and everything that we can have. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. We go down in your glory, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Lord, have your way. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Have your way. In your presence, there is joy beyond measures. And at your feet, peace of mind can so be found. And if we have any need, you are the only answer. Cause we are standing on your holy grounds. We are standing on his holy ground. And I know there are angels over So let us praise Jesus now because we are standing in his presence in this holy ground. We Standing on his holy ground, and I know there are angels all around. So let us pray, Jesus. standing in his presence on his holy ground in his presence the rejoice be your measures and at your feet the peace of mind they can still be found if you have a need I know he is your son, cause we are standing on his holy ground. We are standing his holy ground, and I know. Angels all around. So let us pray. Jesus, now we are standing in his presence. For we are standing in his presence. 
on this holy ground. We worship you, Lord. This is holy grounds. We love you, Lord. We lift in up holy hands. Father, Lord, it's you. Where is this holy? This is holy land. We stand in on holy land. For the Lord is see where is his holy. He is in his holy temple. So we are standing on his holy ground. For we are standing, oh yes, Lord, on his holy ground. And I know, and I know. There are angels all around, they are all around us. So come and let us pray. Jesus, now, for we are standing in your temple on his holy ground. We give you glory, we give you worship, we give you honor, we celebrate your kingship and your lordship. Forever you are the lamb upon the throne, your glory shall fill the nations. We celebrate you as king of kings and the lord of lords. May your name be worshipped, may your name be worshipped now and forever. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, the glory be to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are welcome into the presence of God. This afternoon, I have a great privilege to have you in the midst of the glory of the King of Kings. It's always a great privilege bestowed upon us to come before the Lord and to understand His ways. And to walk into his perfect plans for our life. This afternoon, we want to consider understanding the ways of God. Understanding the ways of God. If we want to understand the ways of God, then we need to delight ourselves in his counsel. We need to delight ourselves in the counsel of God. We need to live every day to pursue the counsel of God. Psalm 73 verse 24. With your counsel you will guide me. To understand God, we need to pursue his counsel. Why? Because with his counsel, we are guided. We are guided by his counsel. When we say the counsel of God, what does it mean? Can you turn your Bible with me to Acts of Apostle, the chapter number 20, verse 27? The counsel of God. The counsel of God. The counsel of God is the advice. The counsel of God is the dictates. The counsel of God is the mindset of God. The plans of God for your life. The purpose of God. When we say the counsel of God, yes, give me your definition. When we say the counsel of God, what do you understand by the counsel of God? The counsel of God. The counsel of God. 
the instructions, the instructions of God. In us, chapter number 20, the verse number 27, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. Apostle Paul said that my conversation is built on the whole counsel of God. Christianity has turned to where it wants. Turn away from the counsel of God. The mind, the revealed will of God, the revealed intentions of God, the totality of God's plan for our life is what we call the counsel of God. Apostle Paul said, I testify to you this day that I am innocent of your blood. I am innocent of the consequences of your choices. Why? Because I did not hide the counsel of God from you. I reveal, I proclaim the mind of God to the people. Understanding God, part three. Understand the ways of God is to come to pursue the counsel of God. Come to know what God wants. Come to know the wishes of God. Why? Because they self-guide you. As far as you can go in life, it's the counsel of God that will bring you to where you are going. They are safeguard. Safeguard. Save God. I want you to understand. As far as we can go in life. It all depends. Upon how willing. And how hungry. And how desirous. We want to cling to God. We are living in a society today. That people have turned away from God. Pursuing their own ways. Rejecting the ways of God and pursuing their own desire. Pursuing their own desires. Psalm 16, verse number 7. I will bless the Lord who had counseled me. Indeed, my mind instructs me in the night. I will bless the Lord who had advised, who had advised me. When we say somebody is a counselor, Jenny, who is a counselor? I think if I don't call people, they won't talk. <laughs> they, love, they love listening to me and I was shouting and shouting and I, they go back and complain that I don't allow them to talk. Advisor. Advisor. Uh-huh. Mama Teresa, who is a 